Okay, uh, thanks for staying with us. Uh, now it's time for our second hot topic, and we just say the courage and drive to challenge for a Guinness World Record. We're being joined by someone who is trying to do that, the delectable Clara Chizoba Kronberg, a media and social entrepreneur, CEO of CCK Ventures and Entertainment Limited. Good morning and welcome to the program, Clara. Thank you. Good morning. Mm. Let's get to meet uh, with this Clara. Tell us a little bit about yourself before we go into the meat of the matter. Well, like you said, my name is Clara Chizoba Kronberg. I'm a Nigerian-born uh, media and social entrepreneur. I live in Mabea, Spain. I have, um, um, I used to live in Denmark and now moved to the sunny city of um, Costa del Sol. So um, more about me is that um, I've always been about the... Um, I'm a TV talk show host. I have my own TV talk show, Women's World Show, and I'm a producer as well. Um, um, I have my own production company, um, you know, creating content and um, creating commercials as well for other brands and companies as well here in Spain. So my quest have always been about empowering women, empowering inspiration, inspiring others through my throughout my whole life, literally, it's always been about a call for change, positive change, social impact positively. Um, and um, it's always been a thing for me. Um, I'm a mom. Um, so that's a bit and bit about me. But I'm from Anambra State, by the way. Mm, <laughs> I, I wanted to ask that. She's a ba is from Anambra State. Okay, now you're in Spain. That, that's good. But you know, what gives you the drive as a person? What gives you that, you know, the spirit to do what you do? I mean, I, I'm always very keen about, I'm always curious about how do people get from point A to point B? This is, first of all, my pet drive, because when I see somebody that is successful, I always ask, like, how did you do that? How did you get from here to there? Because I recall when I was growing up in Alpha Street in Onitra, by the way, I, you know, I, I will see, we were living in the face me, I face you, you know, house. Mm -hmm. And then I would see the skyscrapers when they start building the four story building, rather, not skyscraper, but four story building. And I would always say, those people that live in that flat that have their own bathroom, do they have two heads that they are not sharing bathrooms or things like that? Do they have two so it's always been a quest like, how did you get to be able to live in that particular place where you have your own private bathroom? So from that movement, it becomes like, okay, how can I do that? So I'm always curious to ask, what's your what's what's your story? What's your secret? What did you do? Can you teach me? So it's always the drive to be better. It's always the drive, the curiosity to learn from people. You know, I always aspire to be like, wow, did you do that? Maybe I too can do it. So people inspire me. People generally inspire me, um, especially women. Oh, my God. When I see women who thrive, who do everything, like, I mean, who go on the right path to succeed, it blows my mind. Like, I'm very inspired. I'm applauding. I'm clapping. I'm a biggest woman cheerleader that literally, literally is like, this is me clapping for anybody who is going after their dream in the right way. So, yes, people inspire me, their journey, their challenges, and just the, you know, the zeal to keep going regardless. So, it so are inspires you at, me. at your wow moment right now, or you're still striving? <laughs> I mean, you know what they say. Um, <laughs> I think I am in a stage of gratitude. Mm. That's a good question you asked there, but I am feeling very grateful for grace, for opportunities, for um, things I'm able to do. Um, but, you know, I want more. I'm hungry. Yes, of course. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you want to... Is it break the Guinness World Record or just set a Guinness World Record? But you want to be in the books as the person who has interviewed the longest. I think 58 hours or so? That's no, I'm going for 55, 55. hours. Okay, 55 hours. Longest hour. interview that's, marathon. That's, that's quite a number. So let's just begin with what gave you, uh, what informed this? I mean, like you, like I mentioned earlier, again, I'm always striving for more to be better, to push myself beyond my comfort zone, beyond my limits. 
And I remember um, over the past years when I was in Nigeria, I, I had the privilege to speak with um, Honorable, um, Sen um, Honorable Senator Natasha Akpoti and her story really you know blew me away and her tenacity i watched her persist and i watched her work hard and really go after what she wanted for me that's a success story you know like just go for it regardless and then i also remember hilda bassi again i will always say this you know I was here in my house and I was screaming on top of my voices because it was like, wow, how did you come across this? How did you do that? And, you know, my partner, my husband, he never really understood it because I'm in Nigeria and we're loud, you know, like, oh, I'm all over the place. And he was like, okay, so what's this about? So why don't you do it if it's that intriguing to you? I was like, mm, it's not my thing. So, <laughs> but somehow a seed has been planted. And, you know, months back, somehow, somehow I start like, okay, maybe this is actually a thing that could be done. So that's how I got into researching, doing some due diligence, and here I am. So, so what do you women like her yeah. and the others inspire me, to be honest, and I give her her flowers. Mm. She's a pioneer in this, I mean, yeah. when it comes to Nigeria, yes. Mm. Uh, what really do you intend to achieve with this? How is it going to make you better? Because you're craving for more always. So how is this going to impact you and the world? I mean, okay. I need to correct something. Yes, I crave for more. However, again, I am in a state of gratitude. I always take a moment to say, gracias a Dios, thank God for now, in as much as I want more or and I want to inspire and empower people. So what do I intend to achieve with this? It's for me to be able to be in a place where the hunger to keep empowering other women, I will be able to do it. It will put me in the place where my voice is heard enough, where I, you know, as an African, I'm gonna use this, as an African black woman living in diaspora, in Europe diaspora, it's not as easy as you know we see it back home for you to you know leave a landmark and say i am capable i am capable this project i can deliver it so for me this is a way to pave way for myself and for many others especially those who are african african women you know living in diaspora or who intend to move to diaspora because next time the next person wants to do something they know oh they can they she somebody has paved the way for them and this is i mean again it's gonna be a great deal for my career and for all the you know the dreams i have to empower and inspire as many people as possible because this is my part the empowerment part to support the next woman so it's gonna do a lot for me for people out there, for a lot of people out there, and at the same time, especially African black women living in diaspora. Yes. Mm. Two days and seven hours is quite some time without rest, <laughs> without food. I, I don't know. Let me not say without food. That's not fasting. You must have some. No, 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 no. I'm eating, of food. course. Yeah, I'll be eating. So I'll be talking know. to you like it, we are talking. Once you say Guinness World Record, I'm just like, okay, will she be feeding? Will she be resting and all that? But, you know, a very critical thing when you're talking about Guinness World Records is that whatever you're going to do has to matter. Especially, okay, for instance, if you have to cook, it wouldn't just be that you will, you will boil water and you say, have you seen my boiled water? It's so nice. It has to be something that can be enjoyed by the next person. So what are some of the topics you'll be addressing in this, your interviews in the course of the two days and seven hours? Yes, that's a very good question because again, the audience has to be engaged, engaged, and they want, they should want to be part of it, yeah. which is, which I hope they will be. So, how do I intend to drive the audience to be this? I, I, I always say that it's an akin to masterclass. See it as a masterclass that you are coming to take in to take in over 50 people, successful people across the globe, 
their success stories, their journey of becoming, of how they have come to be. I'm talking about people who are shakers and breakers in their industries. So they're going to sit down and take us on a ride. And for me, I believe that, again, it drives me to know people's journey. And I feel that in this modern day and time where social media has been an appeal of, you know, so depending on the eye where you see it, I love social media, don't get me wrong, but where some people just get carried away with the finished work they see, not knowing that there's a journey, maybe the person you're comparing yourself to, the 10, it has been a 10 years or over decades of sacrifice and hard work. So, this is a master class for you to come and take in and learn that from point A, it takes X, Y, Z to get to point C, that you don't just jump, it's a process. Mm. It's, it's just a process. So yes, this master class, I call it a master class, it's gonna be entertaining, it's gonna be inspiring, it's gonna be empowering. So so what are some of the people we're expecting? Class? What are some of the people we're expecting in this master class to come and tell us about themselves? <laughs> the likes of people that you know across the globe. Like, it goes all the way from Nigeria, Uganda, um, US, because in the nighttime, data might tap into Europe and Nigeria and, um, and Africa. In the nighttime, we go to US and Canada and all that. So, and um, what are the people? Who are the people? Mm -hmm. You just have to, you have to engage and come and see from them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but yeah. they're absolutely people watching again, successful people in different su sectors. Please engage on Clara Chuseba Kronbog and platform and use the hashtag that we have. You will see everyone lined up being released soon. Okay. Uh, for whoever you're going to interview, I'm sure that there's a plethora of people of that nature in the world, uh, if not in the same locality even. Uh, so what informed the, your, your, your choice of particular people? Uh, because if it is in the oil and gas industry, for instance, you want to interview someone, there must be something that marked out a particular person, even though there are so many of them in that industry. So what are some of the things that informed your selection of these people? Um, again, you have to, you have to, uh, we did our due diligence, you know, we have to re um, go through the person's profile and make sure that, again, you know, you want Again, this is a master class, and if anyone wants to learn from it, it has to be a story that, you know, a person whose, whose story will inspire other people. So what are the criteria? To be honest, as long as you're not a criminal, you're not, you've not done anything, um, you know, discriminatory or... That you know. You're not a criminal that you know. Because we've had the Invictus of this world, we've had the Hush Puppies of this world that were success stories, 30 under 30 and all that until we discovered that it was something fishy. Anyway, exactly. That's what I mean. As yeah. long as you're not a criminal, you've not done anything discriminatory, you're not you've not you're not in any way, you know, um working against humanity. Humanity again. So it's it's all about making sure that these criteria, success stories are aligning on the right path. And um it, everybody has a story but who, what's your story and how can it inspire the next person? So we make sure we stick on the right path because, hey, um, it, this is open for even young people and we want it to be right. Yes. You know, this is quite a Herculean task. It's not like, okay, who pops the eyeballs more? That was, that would be an individual <laughs> thing that can be done within one minute and who skips the rope more? It can't be done in, in it shouldn't be done in days and all that. But this one will require a lot so are you collaborating with other people are you do go, going solo with your partner who inspired it or who planted the seed let me say so oh no 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 i mean i'm collaborating with <laughs> i'm coll collaborating with other people absolutely um this is a team effort it's not clara chisel background book just uh breaking the world record this is a team effort it is you that is watching that is engaging um yes it's collaboration collaboration um sponsorship this cannot be achieved alone by myself no way then as you can see or can tell um, from production alone is 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 
massive you know so and then you now talk about location I'm, I'm also working with the town hall here you know the local the mayor will be there the you know is um is the port of Anons is one of the biggest harbor in mabea like it's the heart of mabea and um, i'm collaborating with the um, literally every business people that i can imagine to make this happen because it's absolutely impossible to do it by myself so it's not just about me i might be the one being named clara chisoba Crumbock. however it's a project for all of us and a lot of people i am so grateful for everyone who have trusted in this vision and are tagging along and people who also want to come along so you're welcome yeah. to join us yeah. We might be fighting back home, but when we say this is a Niger babe doing this, we rally around Niger people. And in your, in your um, uh, promo, you, you talked about people joining you. Join me as I do this and that. So how can people join you? We've said something about it, but walk us through again briefly how we can join you to make this a success story. We like our own. Whenever we're doing something and putting Niger in the spotlight, we like our own. So how do we join you? Yes, so I beg Nigerian people, make them join me, join me, join ah, me. That's are a you, home girl. Are you, that's a home are girl. you go join me? Be say you go join me through internet, and eh? we get our own personal hashtag. Me user is CCK Show GWR. Clara Chisaba Kumbog GWR. Go use them, use them online. And that, as they talk, so eh, that live stream that for internet it they happen. So you go watch them for you to go to Women's Watch Show TV. Now they they happen now. You go watch them for Instagram. You go see them for TikTok. Clara Chisaba about Chromebook, go watch and go tap out. And you know what? Make you the sharer. As you the share, make you the comment. As you the comment, may you just the share. In fact, gather your friends, sit down, chop popcorn, they watch this things. Again, a master class. So you know go take this one alone. Yeah? I beg now all this place we go see. In fact, if you had send me email, we go answer you immediately. Info at cckgwr.com. Now so we do. Okay. <laughs> we hear you. It's sweet, my belly. Say abroad lady, they talk like this. Okay. <laughs> okay. I've been Niger. I've been Niger. All right. Okay. Now, just just to just to round off what we are doing now. Um, it's the main thing is that we're talking about the courage and drive to challenge for Guinness uh, World Record. Courage and drive are the key words. This is what makes a lot of people. Uh, not to grow as much as they can because they don't have the courage, they don't have the drive. So we'd like you to just talk to, since you have passion for the women and maybe youths, just talk to the women and the youths about courage in a very brief moment that you can because our time is really up. To so talk about courage and drive and how it can get you to wherever you want to get. Absolutely. I can say that oh, I can sing hallelujah with this topic, but I can tell you um, that whatever you do, first of all, go with passion. I know that they say your passion cannot always pay your bills, which is true. I wouldn't lie to you. However, go with the passion because that's the only way that you can go against all odds. That's the only way you wake up in the morning and your heart is still beating. Um, I will tell you one thing. So many times I've tried to run away from those parts of, you know, really empowering and inspiring and using success stories to inspire people but i always find myself back again and again and again because hey you want to go back and make a realistic money and take care of your family however the passion keep calling and i tell you pick up the courage and it will be hard go back to that passion let your heart beat because this heart beats when you wake up in the morning is the only drive that you will use to get what you want it will be tough but your passion will see you through so this is the courage that you need your passion your heart beat and it gets better it gets better i promise you it gets better it is hard but and it's scary wow it's scary but go for it mm. go for it Thank you very much, Chizoba. Let me remain with Chizoba. Thank you so much for being a part of our program, and we wish you luck in this drive to clinch this record. Thank, Thank you. you so much for having me. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Well, we've been talking with Clara Chizoba Kromberg, media and social entrepreneur, uh, CEO of CCK Ventures and Entertainment Limited. She wants to get a Guinness World Record from uh, the eight of uh, March. We we're hoping that you're going to join her from the 8th of March. Uh, it would be 55 hours. Well, we like to rally around our own people. We'll do the same for her, I'm sure. 
Uh, but this is where we draw the curtain on today's production or today's uh, uh, edition of the program. Do join us again tomorrow for another edition. My name is Nyamgul Agaji. Have a lovely midweek. <laughs>